uh, here you'll see the default setup for Keynote and how it's set up is really conducive to making presentations but we're not making presentations right now we're going to create graphics so I have some toolbar suggestions that will help you as you create graphics lower thirds bugs bars sidebars all those kind of things for your video application so uh, follow me here so we're gonna go to view customized toolbar and the first thing I want to do is clean out all the stuff that I don't need so I'm gonna take off the keynote live button table button chart button comment button and collaborate button so that gives us space now to add the things that I think we should add to make our toolbar more conducive to making graphics so let's start off with the far left and go from there I have my guides button then I go to object list and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add all of these and I'm gonna tell you what they all do after we get them all in right and we're gonna add the add a slide button the text button is already there but I'm just gonna slide it over uh, we're gonna go to the fonts then we'll do shape and media put it right next to that one then I always have the color control button then group and if you have a group I want to also do ungroup then I have the forward and backward button then I have the mask button and finally the instant alpha button and to the far right you see the format the animate and the document buttons we're gonna leave those where they are and now we're done so if you click done here's a thing that can be bothersome with keynote but it's actually good here now all those buttons are locked in and they are saved keynote auto saves what just happened and whenever you open back up keynote all these buttons will be there so now let's talk through what all these buttons do and then I'll show you guys how to do some slide setups for making lower thirds and other graphics and things like that so let's just start from the left and work our way across the play button is good for you actually to play the slideshow that you create and actually to play the animation of the lower thirds that I'll be showing you how to do at some point right the guides button now this only works if you have the rulers turned on unfortunately there is no button to turn on the ruler so you have to hit Apple or control R to get the ruler so I'll do that now and the guides you drag them from the rulers right so this will help you line things up and size different things and you can turn the guides on and off right the next is the object list so as you build uh, lower thirds you build your graphics you build sidebars with text and things like that you will want to have this object list because a lot of times if you just have a shape it'll just be called shape 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 and in the object window you can name different things by double clicking them and typing in a new name you can change the order of the items on how they are in the art in the um, hierarchy what's on top of something else so that's just a good thing to have and I'll turn that back off for now for spacing add a slide is an obvious thing add a slide if you're gonna have animations that go between slides and I'll be showing you things that go with that through magic move and things you have your text box click it to add text you have your font so you can change your font window um, your fonts your bold your size and different things of that nature you have your shape box all right the media box is for adding things other than what you have from the shape box like music raster graphics graphics that um, are in different folders around your computer I usually drag and drop my graphics a lot so I rarely use the media button but it is there to kind of help you uh, find different things right uh, the colors control panel where you can just turn it on and off you don't have to go into the different formatting and things like that to find it now here's a thing let me delete this just make another shape so grouping so 
select the items I usually drag across the items to select them group and now it's one item right and then ungroup undoes that so you select both of them click ungroup now they are individual items right and that's just good to have as you kind of put things together the forward and back as you see now the blue is in front you can hit backward now there is a all the way to the front and all the way to the back button that you can use I really don't use those I like clicking and having like that that ease control where I can just step back and step forward so that's why I use these two buttons for that this next the next two buttons are if you have raster graphics so say you bring in a JPEG picture of yourself or something like that and I think I have one somewhere no oh, I thought I had one somewhere okay I'll bring in this graphic of an instructional sheet I did for my Memojis so here's a Memoji graphic and I'll use this let's bring it forward so it's on top so basically you can use the shapes that you have from your shape menu combined with the raster graphic to then make a mask so whatever's in the front will make a mask of what's in the back right so now I click off of that and that's the mask the graphic from a raster graphic that I use a um, shape on top of right so let me undo that and now something else you can do with raster graphics is you can do an instant alpha so you have the instant alpha box and this won't work good for what I'm using it for now but just a color picker to make whatever color you pick transparent so if I click on that black the black becomes transparent and whatever's behind that will be able to be seen so you can use that I suggest using that when you have a uh, logo that's a JPEG or something that you bring into Keynote that has a solid background you can use the alpha to click on that and make the background go away right so now let's kind of clean up this screen a little bit hit done on that let's clean all this stuff up get them off the screen so the those are the tools for the toolbox to help you set up Keynote to make it more graphics creation and graphics editing friendly